tensions mount in Europe, NATO allies seem divided on military aid to Ukraine. The United States rejected Poland's suggestion to send fighter jets to Ukraine via U.S. air base in Germany. America has now deployed two air defense units to Poland to bolster its defense systems. Pentagon officials confirm that the U.S. has sent two Patriot surface-to-air missile batteries, which have been repositioned from Germany to Poland, adding that the move has been undertaken to help secure the NATO alliance territory against any potential threat and has been undertaken after Poland's invitation. The United States Army Patriot surface-to-air missile defense system it is capable of countering and destroying ballistic missiles, cruise missiles or aircraft. Pentagon officials did not confirm the area where the batteries were now posted, but did assure that the missiles have been sent only as a defense deployment. While Pentagon refrained from specifying their operational status, it did not confirm that the missiles were manned. Experts are assessing the move as reflecting a growing fear that a Russian missile could deliberately or not cross the border from neighboring Ukraine into NATO member Poland. Nuclear tensions too remain as a cause of worry that Russian president may escalate the war further. Remember, Putin had put his nuclear forces on high alert a few days ago, although the United States officials detected no threatening changes in Russia's nuclear posture. The whole backdrop to this uh, relationship with Ukraine at the moment in terms of assisting them is that keeping in mind ways to avoid having the war spill over uh, into any of the neighboring countries, some of which are NATO countries. And if that were to happen, of course, then you would have a war of NATO against Russia. And um, the implication there is that it could potentially escalate to a nuclear war. Nobody wants that. The deployment comes a day after America rejected Polish proposal to send fighter jets to Ukraine, alleging that the proposal raised serious concerns for NATO. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris is now in Poland, showcasing Washington's claims that the United States' ties with NATO ally Poland remain strong, despite the dispute over the arming of Ukraine with warplanes. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.